And now let's take a look at the next section, and that is on torque. So the idea of a cross product occurs often in physics. In particular, we consider a force F acting on a rigid body at a point uh, given by a position vector R. So let's say you have a, a distance here is the R, and then you have a force here. Uh, for in instance, if we tighten a bolt by applying a force to a wrench, as in the figure below, we produce a turning effect, and the only uh, part of it that actually uh, generates that is the perpendicular one across here. In other words, the sine of the uh, uh, sine of that function, sine sine of the force there going uh, perpendicular to this direction. There. All right. Uh, the torque uh, tau, that's the Greek letter tau, relative to, to the origin is defined by the cross product of the position and force vectors. So the torque is equal to, so this torque is using the right hand rule, is going to be equal to like this. Uh, the r position vector cross the force vector, like that. And then, uh, yeah, so that is the turning effect there, and there's a position vector r, like that. Yeah, and uh, this torque right here measures the tendency of the body to rotate about the origin. The longer, uh, the larger the value, the, the more tendency it's rotating. The direction of the torque vector indicates the axis of rotation. So if it's pointing here, and then if you're doing right hand rule, uh, this would be uh, curling. Let's see how this would be. Yeah, this would be curling downwards. So right hand rule is this way. Your fingers are uh, curling inwards this way, and your right and your thumb is sticking out. Again, just using the right hand rule, like that. And then according to theorem two, the magnitude of the torque vector is, and again, the uh, absolute value or the uh, length or the distance, or just the magnitude of the torque is equal to the magnitude of the cross product of uh, R cross F, which equals to the, the magnitude of both position vector and the force vector, and then sine theta. So there's that sine theta across here, like that pointing downwards. Yes, uh, and where this theta, saw, this theta is again the angle, where, where theta is the angle between the position and force vectors like that. That's fascinating stuff. So now observe that the only component of F that can cause a rotation is the one uh, perpendicular to R. So the only one yet yeah, perpendicular to this. And that is again uh, this uh, uh, force, uh, the length, the magnitude of the force times by sine theta. So it's only this component right here, sine theta, it's perpendicular like that. That's fascinating stuff here. Now let's continue further. So, and the magnitude of the torque is equal to the area of the parallelogram determined by R. Position vector R and the force vector F again with the um, uh, based on the yeah, cross product is just the parallelogram of those two vectors. And now let's take a look at example six, the last example of this video. And then we'll do the exercises. So a bolt is tightened by applying a 40 newton force to a 0.25 meter wrench or 25 centimeters as shown in the figure below. So here's the you're tightening this one here and you're doing uh, yeah, you, you're doing clockwise, so your fingers are going inward. Yeah, so then the 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 arrow is going to be going in into the page, like straight down into the page, like that is your thumb. So that's the torque is going into the page. Anyway, so there's the point two five is the R value, the length of the uh, R, and then this is forty newtons is the magnitude of the force, and there's the seventy five degrees. And it says find the magnitude of the torque about the center of the bolt. So solution, let's go here. All right, yeah, let's move those over down here. So the magnitude of the torque vector is, well, we just use a cross product. So this is a tau. This is the torque, the magnitude of the torque like this. So value sign is equal to magnitude of the uh, cross product R cross F. This equals to using the theorem two. So this is going to be a length of R times by length of F. 
as by sine of 75 degrees. And then if you plug this in, we'll also put everything in. So the, the distance is 0.25 meters. 0.25 meters. And then the force is 40 newtons. See that up here? So 0.25 meters, 40 newtons. This is going to be 40 newtons. And then sine 75. And then uh, if you solve this again, this 0.25, that's just 1 over 4 times by 40, that's going to be, um, that's going to be 10, equals to 10 sine 75. Let's put this better. 75 degrees. And then if you, um, and then now this equals 2. And this equals to, uh, plug in the calculator, it gets 9.66 Newton meters. And I'll solve this. And I'll just box this. And then I'll do a calculation check. And here's the calculation check. So again, you can go uh, 10 times sine 75 using my uh, built in calculator in OneNote. So press equal space. So, and this is automatically has solves it with uh, degrees. So you get uh, 10 times sine 75 degrees is 9.659, etc. But you round up to 9.66. All right. So now going further. So if the bolt is right threaded, then the torque itself is, and this is, uh, I think it's right threaded, just torquing it with right hand rule. So righty tidy. Like this. So if it's right hand is curling, if your fingers are curling in, you're going to be pointing into the page as your thumb. So if the bolt's right threaded, then the torque vector, number the keywords, vector, not, not just the magnitude, this equals to, here's the torque vector, which equals to the magnitude of the torque uh, uh, times it by the vector going into the page n. We'll call this uh, unit vector n. This would, then this would be writing as 9.66 newtons, uh, and then this is uh, times by unit vector uh, n like that. And again, where n is a unit vector directed down into the page, aka right hand rule with a thumb pointing into the page and fingers curling in a clockwise rotation. Again, remember unit vector is just a, a magnitude one, so you're not changing anything. All you're doing is is uh, stretching that unit vector to a magnitude uh, that corresponds to the magnitude of the torque. It's fascinating stuff.